halfway through the first opening day on the floor of Expo 2021, and they say it wouldn't happen, but here we are. A uh, lot of interesting things popped up, but we have been watching the progress of the VBAT program. We've gotten a couple of press releases and some interesting information. But could you tell me how this program first came to fruition? Because it's such a unique platform. The first Department of Defense uh, contract we had was with the Army for Future Tactical UAS. And with our basic VBAT called the VBAT 118. Um, we, just got, we just completed that in March with the... Uh, the end of the buy, try, inform portion of FTUAS. So that was going on where we were working with the 101st, 2nd Brigade Combat Team of the 101st Airborne Division. We're also working with Southern Commands, doing counter drug interdiction, which you've probably seen in some of the press releases as well, and proving out that the VBAT is truly a, has a maritime niche based on how it, how it works with the volatile winds on a ship deck, it autonomously turns into the wind, it weather vanes into stiff winds, and it deals with gusts very nicely. It's also very resistant to the environment out there, and we just completed our second year working with Southcom on doing that mission set. We've also, our, our longest time customer, uh, working with the Marine Corps, and we're very proud of, of the work we've done with McWill, basically a customization of the VBAT to where it is today, and we just competed our first deployment with the 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit. We're heading out with the 11th MU, and we've got a lot more going on with the Marine Corps. But we also listen to the customer. And along the way, you know, payload is, is a concern, usable payload. They want full motion video, they may want SIGINT, they may want electronic warfare, they may want a number of different things. And so we had to increase our payload. So what we, we did that. The VBAT 128 behind me up here has got an enhanced engine. It's the same airframe, but we've gone from an eight pound payload capacity to a 25 pound payload capacity. At the same time, increasing our endurance by three hours from eight to 11. And so now we bring a whole lot of capability in a very tactically small package, fit in the back of a Blackhawk, back of a cargo Humvee, two of them, as a matter of fact. A two aircraft system fit on one half of a 463 L pallet. The VBAT 128 uh, broke through our 15,000 foot ceiling up to 20,000. We now no longer fly 70 knots, max speed, we do 90. We went from eight hours to 11 hours, eight pounds to 25 pounds. So, in an aircraft that only weighs 125 pounds, you've got a lot of usable payload capacity. What's the future for the VBAT program? Well, we're with the Army FTUS second phase. We're looking forward to that. It's two increments. A Shield AI, who acquired Martin UAV quite recently, bringing the hive mind AI ability to the VBAT aircraft that can hover during the flight. With SATCOM enabled abilities, you start getting beyond line of sight issues like behind buildings, behind trees, urban environments. You can start to see where this is starting to head. Marine Corps continue to move forward with the Marines and listen to what they need and customizing the drum to their use cases for the mission sets. The big Navy, MI2, working with them on the MI2, working with SOCOM, working with our GCCs throughout the world for U.S. interests, and ultimately working with our allies and partners around the world who are interested in U.S. technology and uh, helping them out as well. Colonel, pleasure to talk to you and go get some bad guys. Thank you, sir. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com.